Hello and welcome to the Cisco CCNA course presented by Orhan Ergen. You can go to orhanergen.net for all kinds of IT courses. Uh, this one is for Cisco CCNA 200-301 exam and my name is Jason Wing. I'm 41 from Columbus, Ohio. I've got a 20-year IT career. I've worked for three different companies. I volunteer uh, for two other comp uh, companies. And I've done primarily uh, network-related, uh, network engineering, network manager uh, types of roles in my 20-year career. Uh, I've got a BS in computer information systems as well as an MBA. I have a number of certifications. Uh, all I keep all of them active. CCNP, CCNA, CCNA Wireless, and Network Plus. Uh, I have four kids. I like to brew beer at home, and I am a runner. Okay, uh, course structure. So in CCNA, we're going to go through six modules. Networking fundamentals, network access, IP connectivity, IP services, security fundamentals, and then automation and programmability. Um, the focus of this course is twofold, to gain knowledge and pass the exam. Both of these things are going to help you achieve your IT career goals. And just having the knowledge is going to enable you to do things um, in your job or in future jobs um, that you were not able to before. And passing the exam puts that puts that certification on your resume. Um, that is a va very valuable thing. Uh, so in CCNA, um, a little more detail on the six the six modules that we'll go through. In the fundamentals, we'll talk about routers, switches, TCP, UDP, IPv4, IPv6, and network access. It's like the switching side of the house where we'll talk about VLANs, trunking, ether channel, etc. And then IP connectivity, we'll talk about IP routing and particularly a routing protocol called OSPF. And I will mention that I will be uh, drawing. I'll be using uh, a marker to uh, draw, uh, draw diagrams. Uh, and things like that as we um, as we go through the videos. Um, after routing, um, we talk about IP services. So this is things like DHCP, QoS, which is quality of service, SNMP, and then the next section, an entire section dedicated for security. So here we're talking about VPN, wireless security, port security, which is uh, switch port security. And then the last uh, section is a new section, automation and programmability. So this is some more, more modern technologies, REST APIs, Puppet, Chef, JSON tokens, and SDN, which is Software Defined Networking. Um, Cisco does uh, give out uh, some, some learning materials for the CCNA exam they uh, offer some tutorial, tutorials on the different types of questions that you'll get on the exam. Um, and then there also is an, a high level um, listing of all of, the, uh, all of the topics that are covered on the exam uh, on this link. And then this course goes into the appropriate level of detail on each of the topics so that you have all the knowledge that you need for the exam and for um, uh, the things that you need to be a CCNA level person in your job. Uh, some exam details. This is 200, the 200-301 CCNA exam. Uh, and I have it on here. Um, so this is the new one since February 24th, 2020. And um, there are 120 questions on the course. So the question types, multiple choice, as well as drag and drop, sim, simlet, testlet. So the sims uh, really are the ones where you want to use that um, Cisco Learning Network 
uh, reference so it shows you um, what those sims look like so that you you have a chance to see them before actually taking the exam the test is 120 minutes long so you see 120 questions 120 minutes um, so it is important to not only have the knowledge uh, ready but to be able to process through knowledge quickly uh, to answer the questions quickly recommended experience uh, a good grasp of networking fundamentals so if you have seen or have taken the network plus certification that level of knowledge is excellent um, to have jumping into the CCNA not required um, but is that's kind of the the area where you want to be um, in taking CCNA um, you may have one or more years of hands-on experience working as a network administrator or, or a network support technician um, working with Cisco equipment um, a passing score not published by Cisco um, but rule of thumb is around 800 to 850 out of a thousand um, so with this with this new version of the CC, CCNA exam uh, they have added some topics um, so you will see content for next generation firewalls um, and IPS spine leaf which is a data center uh, switching architecture cloud we've, we've all heard about cloud um, more on wireless infrastructure um, first hop redundancy protocol PFTP, expanded security infrastructure, and then automation and programmability, which is new, um, really just uh, moderately new in general um, from, uh, from a course content perspective. Um, the other thing is previous to this CCNA exam, there were specialized CCNA exams, so like CCNA-wireless or CCNA security. Um, those are done, retired. Um, so Cisco has went back to just just CCNA. Um, and just something to note, um, some removed topics include the OSI model. However, we reference it because we talk about things like layer one, layer two, layer three, but we're not going to explain the OSI model in detail in the uh, CCNA curriculum anymore. Um, other things removed, VTP, switch stack, um, a couple of routing protocols, EIGRP and BGP, uh, GRE, and WAN access. So, um, this is uh, a great course, and uh, it's great content. This is a cornerstone certification uh, for anyone in going into a networking career. Um, so, thank you very much, and best of luck.